Hey everyone, it's Nasai here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, we are going to be doing something different. I recently received a brand called Jelsea, which I am super excited about. It is a semi-cured gel nail strip that literally anybody can do. You can apply it to your natural nail, you can apply it to a small little extension, or you can use it how I am gonna use it in this video, over hard gel. I'm actually going to encapsulate y'all know how i do on this channel so yeah just keep watching and i'm going to show you what design i came up with when i used this brand so this is how the box came this is what the starter kit looks like i do have a video of me showing you guys each of the product that came inside this starter kit um so i'll leave that link for you guys if you want to go check that out but we're going to be focusing on the actual gel strip itself the gel strip itself is called the fun one it's this hot pink it has like this marble design it did come with two strips um i'm only going to focus on the hot pink and that marble design for this look so you'll see what i'm gonna do with it though because it's gonna be hot <laughs> i do have a peel off base coat on and this is the brand that i use this is unt ready for takeoff i do have this on my amazon storefront so you guys can go check that out but i did already you know put them on i let it air dry i'm gonna go in right now with my extra long coffin non c curve tips um i'm gonna glue these down with my rubber base gel as i normally do add a little bit to the tip and then hold it down and glue it i'm actually gonna fast forward this because I really want to get to the actual strips itself so we're just gonna glue them down i'm gonna cure it using my lamp you can go to lgmpro.com to get it i did cut these down a little bit just because of the length of the actual gel strips is a little i'm not gonna say short is longer than the other brand that i tried which was a zinni pin website zinni pin i think it's called gel light i have a link for that video as well so i'm gonna go in and i'm using my 180 sanding band i wanted to do this super fast and get to the actual gel strips itself i'm going on that surface of the tip and this is where i kind of feel like i should have skipped Two of the nails I decided to go in clear and I should have skipped those two nails when it came to filing. I should have only filed around the perimeter, but at the time I wasn't really thinking of the physical design that I was going to do until I was physically doing, you know, the nails. When I scuffed over the surface of the nails, they tend to not be as clear so that's the only thing that i would suggest if you know for a fact you're going to do some clear nails skip this step when it comes to those two those you know clear nails i don't yeah you know what i mean you know what i mean so you would go in with your dehydrated to dehydrate your nail plates um i'm skipping this because i do have a peel off base coat i'm gonna go in right now with my rubber base gel and i'm going to add it to the surface of my nail plate and then drag it down to the entire tip i do cure this for a full 60 seconds in my uv led nail lamp for the hard gel i'm going in and i'm using my true nude i feel like i haven't used this color in such a long time and it is so pretty but i am taking a small amount i'm actually going to drag it down to get a wet layer and then um i float a little more product on top just to build a small little apex now at the time i wasn't i didn't even know if i was going to encapsulate or not i was just you know going with the flow with these nails so there's a couple of steps within this nail design that i could have skipped but you know in the moment you're not thinking about what you can skip you're just trying to do your nails and get it done so i ended up doing this color to the middle the pinky and then the thumb nail did i do it like that yeah i think that's how i did it you'll see <laughs>
for my pointer and my pinky i'm going in with that crystal clear and like i said these are the two nails that i feel like i should have skipped when it came to filing that tip like it just takes away from it physically having the nails be crystal clear and at the end you'll see what i'm talking about but once again i'm just adding a small layer i take a large amount and then i float it on top if the hard gel is too thick for some of you you can easily go ahead and put it on a coaster warmer and just warm it up for my gel that i have on the website you can do that i am not saying you could do this with any kind of gel i don't know about other brands and obviously i don't know about their jar if it could take that heat from the warmer but for my brand you can lgmpro.com where you get my hard gel <laughs> you can do it with this you know with this line also if i haven't said it already definitely after you do one nail please cure it for a full 60 seconds well not even i'm sorry cure it for at least 30 seconds and then move on to the next nail because you don't want it to slip and slide i feel like i say certain things over and over again in videos and sometimes i don't want to feel like i'm overly repeating myself but i get asked these questions so often in comments that you know i just feel like i have to say it <laughs> so this is what they are looking like i do go in with my nail cleanser to cleanse the surface of the nails because after curing you do have a sticky layer and then i start going into filing once again filing i'm filing the side walls first and then i go over the surface just to remove any kind of lumps and bumps um and again i felt like with this step i should have skipped those two clear nails but yeah i don't know like i don't know when I went over the surface, I did decide to go in with, again, that 180 sanding band. I usually go in with my fine taper drill bit, and I didn't. Don't ask me why I didn't. I just did, and I went in with the 180, um, and it worked pretty good. I'm not going to lie, so that's a good thing. But like I said, when it came to those two clear nails, I just wish it was extra clear. Once I did that, I did go over and just perfect it a little bit with the hand file. And then I just cleansed the surface just to see what they look like, to see if they up to my standards. And then we're going to go in with the gel strips. Now, once again, these are semi-cured strips. They have so many different designs on the website. It does come with this cute little nail file as well as a little cuticle pusher. I ended up not using that. Also, it came with a nail lamp, which I kind of forgot to use. I'm not going to lie. But here this is me trying to figure out what kind of physical design i wanted to use or wanted to do with the strips itself and i didn't want to just slap it on and call it a day so i decided to cut out some of these strips and do a frenchie because i did want to use they are short but i did want it on majority of the nails i don't know so i took a little pen and i tried to outline where i kind of wanted that curve to go you know me being precise and everything i ended up taking some little scissors and trying to perfect that you know do the little frenchie and it came out so freaking good but once i did that i did stick it on the nail and i did go ahead and apply my rubber base gel because i wasn't sure if i could just stick it on the pre-filed nail after i did this one nail i i figured out you could just stick it on the nail and it's perfectly fine but yeah here this is where i'm just going in i am adding a thin layer of that rubber base gel i did a cure for 60 seconds and then literally you just take that strip you peel it off the backing and then you stick it on once you stick it on it is a little bit flexible where you can stretch it so that's what i was doing i was trying to really get it up in those side walls those little you know corners up there and then i did just cure it i cured it and it was hard and it was like it felt like i had did it myself it was just the craziest thing i don't know so i ended up doing that to the middle nail for the two clear nails which was the pointer and the ring nail i decided to go in with the pink now for the hot pink i did go ahead and do another little curve a but it's it's more of like a upside down frenchie i ended up adding it towards the cuticle part and i framed that top portion um and as i was doing this i was kind of questioning it a little bit but you know I, you know like when you just kind of you just have to keep going and just stay positive when it comes to the nail design and i'm always like not positive i know i tell you guys to be positive but yeah i'm not positive <laughs> so i was already like uh, at that point i just kept going so i did that to both clear nails 
And then for the pinky and the thumb, I decided for the pinky, I kind of wanted the smaller strip down the center of the pinky, not starting at the top, starting at the bottom. And yeah, I think once again, it just came out really good. I added the marble one to the pinky and then I did a solid pink one to the thumb right down the middle. It kind of reminds me more of like a modern nail design i don't know if that made sense but anyway once i added all my little stickers where i wanted it to go i did do a full cure for 60 seconds and then i went in with clear hard gel because i went in with clear hard gel i felt like there was these strips are pretty thick i'm not gonna lie um so it there was like a little gap between the hard gel and then the strip where it you could see like a little divot like it, I wasn't feeling it wasn't smooth to me so I did decide to go in with crystal clear just to kind of even it out um I added a small layer I didn't add too much because I didn't want to have to go into filing again but you're gonna see I ended up filing it anyway yeah I ended up doing that to the nails and then I did cure it for a full 60 seconds <laughs> Once again, here I am cleaning it to go into filing, which I did not want to do. But yeah, I'm just like, I have OCD, guys. I can't help it. I go in, I start filing the sidewalls. I do go over the surface again. And then I did buff these really smooth. So that's one thing I did because I was afraid about those clear nails. At this point, they did come with these little stickers, which I was super excited about because I do sell these little these little cuticle bars on the website. But these were sticker versions. They, they're like freaking amazing. I ended up sticking it on each of the little arches. So after I added these little gold little pieces, these little gold stickers, I was so happy with how they were starting to look. Like I said, I was a little bit worried. Um, and I did want to say this was like, I felt like this was the fastest that ever did a design that kind of looked difficult. It was so easy using these little freaking strips. Um, so I added it to each of the little arches. You saw in the middle nail, I did go in around that cuticle part just to add a little gold strip there. And I think they just made the nails, it just elevated the nails. It just looks so freaking good. I was so happy at this point. Um, so from here, I decided to go in and I started to top coat um, because I didn't want these little stickers to move. I don't know, I just felt like I needed a top coat at this point. So I went in with my shiny no light top coat i added a layer of this and i did do a full cure for 60 seconds And we're going in with bling. I know a lot of you wanted me to add bling in the last couple of videos. So finally, we're going in with some bling. For the bling, I decided to go in with my AB crystals. I do have these on the website. But I also took out some of the crystals that I have, um, like the single pack. Well, not the single packs, the little packs that I have. Those are actually on sale if you guys want to go check that out right now. We did drop the price a little bit. But we went, well, we went in. I went in. I went in with my bling at no white gel and what I like about this gel as well is it is non-sticky so after you add your crystals you don't need to worry about going around it to clean it because yeah this is just perfect I did add the little butterfly I like I said these are from the new packs that I have on the website um, and once I added that again I just cured it for a full 60 seconds and y'all they came out so freaking good tell me how they look i think they just came out really pretty you could kind of see what i was talking about when it came to that clear about not fully being 
clear. Um, like I said, I wish it was just a little more clear. I wish I would take in my time to really thought, think about the design before even filing anything, to be honest. These could have came out so freaking clear. But yeah, this is what they look like. I think they came out so good. Using these strips are super easy. I did end up leaving a clip at the end of me taking these off i always always forget to show you guys how i take them off and it's legit you just have to literally just like pop them off the middle and the ring nail did give me a little bit of trouble taking off so i did have to go in and use my little cuticle pusher thingy just to kind of like scrape underneath it but the only reason why i did that was because the base gel itself went under my nail so it got a little bit stuck but once again these this the peel off base coat the peel off yeah that's what it's called the peel off base coat you literally just pop your nails off and you don't have to worry about damaging your nails i use this all the time when i want to take off my nails and just do a quick video and not have to wear those specific nails around for like weeks um and this once again it just gives me the ability to just push out more content for you guys when i use this peel off base coat so if you're somebody who's practicing and you want to practice on yourself I highly recommend using a peel off base coat but yeah as you can see it didn't damage my nails I did have some cuticle oil on my nails you know because of the video and I just rub that in and it is good to go but yeah that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please go ahead subscribe to my channel like this video of course all of the link for Chelsea is going to be in the description box and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one